Uh, well, thank you so much. Um, for a start, that makes me sound terribly grown up, which makes me feel very good. Um, Chancellor, and also you lot. Congratulations to you lot. How do you feel? I'd also like to congratulate you all on, on quite how hard you've worked to make the Hogwarts look work for you. Each and every one of you an outstanding fashion direction. Um, but this, this means an enormous amount to me. Um, it's not just the fact that this has come from where I live, which is actually very important. It's something the Chancellor and I were talking about earlier, that actually Gloucestershire always has been somewhere that has been incredibly energetic and very inspirational in the creative field. In fact, right the way back to the Romans. But actually, being here now, dressed in a slightly Tudor Bethan way, which I might do more often, actually. I'm quite, quite enjoying it. Means an enormous amount, not just to me, but also to what we all do. I, if you like, become a symbol of the fact that going into the creative industries, going into the art world, going into the design world, is something that is actually unbelievably important. I and mean, I think very, very few people realize uh, that actually in 2021, it, it, it led to 109 billion pounds within the UK economy. My work, which takes me all over the world, I see just how incredibly important the British creative field is to absolutely everybody outside this country. And so I am now saying to you, Lord, that you have the most extraordinary opportunity to be able to not just change your world, but to be able to change the world. And actually, I love the fact that things have changed so much. When the Chancellor was saying that he was the first person in his, in his family to go to university, I was the first person in my family to not go to university, to not do law or medicine or um, English literature, but to do art. And it was considered to be relatively eccentric. It was considered, certainly by my school, to be something that would be a dead end, that I would be a dropout, that I would be someone who would not achieve, someone who would not be able to support or sustain a lifestyle. And look, now, actually, we are beginning to understand that that simply isn't true. There should be no snobbery attached to art. I mean, absolutely, as the Chancellor said, in many, many ways, creativity, design, is one of the most difficult things you can ever do because it's all about you. It's all about you putting yourself forward. If you're not, you're not doing the job properly. But when you do it properly, when you lay yourself bare, when you express yourself to the way that you know you can, it leads you open to all sorts of comment, all sorts of criticism. And the one piece of advice I would give all of you now, as someone that has had an enormous amount of support and celebrity and you know, encouragement, but also an enormous amount of discussion, an enormous amount of criticism, an enormous amount of appraisal, let that criticism make you stronger. Let that criticism be something that galvanizes in you what you want to do. And I'm not going to lie, because actually, it is going to be tough. There are no benchmarks, there are no kind of career achievement points in creativity in the way that you get in so many other industries. Actually, whether you're doing a good or bad job is ultimately, totally, completely, and utterly down to you. It's you looking at your work and deciding whether you are doing it the way that you could to the best of your possible, possible achievements and the best of your talents. So it is an incredibly exciting moment. And actually, it is an incredibly exciting moment because, again, springing off what the Chancellor said, the world ain't a great place at the moment. It's a very complicated, very aggressive, very cold place. But that is exactly the environment in which creativity shines. That is exactly the moment when you, as creators, as designers, have an opportunity to not just comment on what you see, but also to suggest through your work how we can move things forward. 
So I think the next few years are going to be incredibly important for you, but also incredibly important for the work that you do. And use that work as a platform to move things forward. On a personal note, though, I am now a doctor, which is great. <laughs> I am the doctor of design. <laughs> oh, thank you. Really? Really? Um, but it does, mean, uh, it does mean that I've got that moment when I'm on a plane and they say, is there a doctor on board? <laughs> and I can stand up and I can say, for God's sake, remove, remove that man's tie. See, doesn't his shirt look better now? <laughs> Thank you very much, but good luck. Well done, everybody. <laughs>